All right, Shalom, Shalom. Like you say, our previous duty, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Dash. Now we're honest to the elder apostles of Green Millstone. Peace and blessings to all your brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. The name to stand in the banner of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, it's Tyler Yaf, GMS Boston, coming back once again for a quick impromptu. All right. And uh, what you see in the screen is. Something that I got off blacklisted news, but it's a, a video rather than an uh, article. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to let it play. If you thought cancel culture was bad, just wait. Because what may be coming next is not just an attempt to silence your voice on social media. But it may come after you in terms of not having a job, not being even able to hold a bank account. Does that sound crazy? The truth is, it's happened in the past. And the best way to know what tactics totalitarians will use right now is to look at what they have been doing quietly over the last few months and years. Today, we speak with Laura Loomer. Laura knows all too well what it means to be canceled for her beliefs, and she'll tell you what she believes is coming next. I'm Ben Swan, and this is Truth in Media. Hey guys, welcome to the show. A lot to get to today. We're going to have our exclusive interview with Laura Loomer. Uh, she ran for Congress in Florida last year and late last year, but also has been a social media figure that has been canceled. Now, you may not be a fan of Laura Loomer, and that's absolutely fine, but you need to listen to what she's saying in terms of this belief in canceling people. Because if Laura Loomer can be canceled in the ways that she has been, including bank accounts, her ability to hold a job, her ability to even be able to rent an apartment, if she can be canceled in that way, why wouldn't you? We'll get to all of that in just a minute, but before we do, a shout out to our sponsor for this episode, createtailwind.com. If you are tired of the banking system as it exists today and you're ready to secede from that system, you got to talk to the guys at Create Tailwind. Create actually cancel your ability to hold a bank account, for instance, to really subject your life to as many destructive policies as possible if you do not agree with what those who are in power say. She says they will do it because it's happened to her. You, you know firsthand what it is. So, <clears throat> this is what's on the way, man. All right? And it's, uh, it's a part of the New World Order. All right? I'm just going to say that. And, you know, the prophets of the Lord have been telling you that it's going to get down to the wire, and we're here, man. All right? And the scriptures for us is called the time of Jacob's trouble. Time of Jacob's trouble. All right? And this is where we're going, man. You know, it uh, said uh, Crown Royal uh, Maximations out there. All right? At my job, they uh, were saying that it's not mandatory. But they do want to know if you do uh, take it and uh, let the company know the place that I'm employed at know. And, you know, like they're going to have some type of giant pizza party. But nevertheless, OK, um, this is what's on the way. All right. So let's just listen real quick. Sparky Brothers trying to get it together. From the current banking system, the most important of which is something called infinite banking, the ability to bank on yourself the way that Fortune 500 companies and wealthy individuals do. You got to talk to Jim Oliver and Bob Burnett over at Create Tailwind. They will teach you how to learn to bank on yourself. CreateTailwind.com. So let's go ahead and bring in our guest, Laura Loomer. I spoke to her a few weeks ago about this issue of cancel culture and what is happening uh, across the nation in terms of being canceled. And what Laura says, as you know, uh, she's been censored from social media. She was kicked off social media platforms years ago, as I was as well. 
Um, and she has been able to talk about the fact that the, the cancel culture that has been in big tech for some time is not new. But how far will that cancel culture actually go? Would it go as far as to actually cancel your ability to hold a bank account, for instance, to really subject your life to as many destructive policies as possible if you do not agree with what those who are in power say. She says they will do it because it's happened to her. You, you know firsthand what it is to be deplatformed. You were one of the original people to be deplatformed by big tech at a time when so many people saw a, a, a few people deplatformed and said, ah, it doesn't matter. They're fringe people. They're crazy. They'll never do it to the rest of us. And now you watch that creeping totalitarian totalitarianism where they just take more and more and more. And, and as the, the, the famous saying goes, you know, when you're silent, when, when, when others are silenced, who will speak up for you when you're silenced? And I think that's what we're seeing take place here uh, on an incredibly rapid rate. But to the, the point you just made, which I think is a critically important one, you said the idea that there would be unity – but one side is not allowed to speak. And it's more than just not speaking, is it not? It's you don't have the right to speak and we're going to talk in your place, in your stead, about how you must be deprogrammed, you must think differently. Uh, if you don't change the way you think, you shouldn't have a job, you shouldn't be allowed to fly on airplanes, you shouldn't be allowed to stay in hotels or Airbnbs. I mean, it And that's where we're going, right? <laughs> Man. This this uh, thing is this prophecy is coming to pass with uh, them in their enterprise, okay, and uh, it's going to blow up in their face. Now, before they even start with their enterprise, all right, persecution is going to come for those men that have. That mind state that they don't like, like it says in Wisdom of uh, Solomon, the second chapter. These people are not for our turn. Let's get that real quick. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 12. Well, I'm going to start at 11. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 11. It says, Let our strength be the law of justice. All right? And as you heard the, the, the guy saying that uh, they was going to bring us down by these new uh, laws, so to speak, against how regular people think the things that we used to do they're going to outlaw them they're going to cancel them and when you think like that then you will be canceled as well all right so it says let our strength be the law of justice for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth okay therefore let us lie and wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn and he is clean contrary to our doings all right he upbraided us with our offending the law an objective to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. You see? That's why they have to reprogram uh, uh, people. Because people, <clears throat> some people still know what's right from wrong. But they want to cancel that all out. All right? And if you are part of that, that group of people, then you're going to be canceled out. Okay? And this is this is exactly <laughs> you can't make it up, man. That the Lord has spoken on it, man. And this is how you know who's the son of perdition, okay? The powers that be is that setting up all these things. Who is in rulership right now? When you read Job nine and twenty four, Job nine and twenty four, okay, it says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Who is in power? Who is the man of perdition? Okay. Pursuant to what I'm reading right now in Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter. Okay. So that, that that's what's going on, man. Let's get back to this. Though. And uh, let me get this also. Lucky. Out of here. 
So ultimately, this is what I was thinking about. Persecution. All right, when I was reading, when I was uh, looking at that video. And you can watch the rest of it. I'll put it in the description box. But, you know, I just want to go into it. You know, these, these are the times that's coming. All right. And this is uh, Matthew 5 and 10. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for their, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And, you know, as I read in the Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter, this is the big to-do. All right, this is why Esau, Edom, is going to come down with Revelations 12 and 12 in the manner that he is, because we have <clears throat> the kingdom of heaven to look forward to. He had his little span in time. That he ruled and he did uh, wonderfully in destroying what he had. Okay, so now he's uh, he's dumbfounded. Okay, because the Lord has took the wisdom of Teman. All right, he doesn't know anything now. <clears throat> it says therefore, and this is uh Second Corinthians twelve and ten. It says, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and in reproaches and in necessities and persecutions and distress for Yahweh's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So, you know, that goes to say that in the position that we're going to be in, all right, ousted on the streets, uh, you know, no food, no shelter. <clears throat> know anything okay being pilgrims upon the earth as the scriptures say all right that's when the lord is gonna gonna uh magnus magnify himself through us man it's gonna be miracles going on brothers okay it's gonna be a, it's gonna be the workings of yahweh bashim yahweh shai hedged about you okay all you have to do is just believe. All right. And um, in the second Timothy 3 and 12, it says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, shall suffer persecution. Okay. Like John said, <clears throat> if the world hate you, this is John 15 and 18, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Luke 16 and 22, blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reapproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. All right. And that's what that whole that's what that whole video is about, man. They want to get rid of said groups of people that don't believe in the tolerant society that's about to appear here okay <clears throat> because to put it quite frankly uh the spirit of yahweh basham yahweh shai is tired of the the uh the wickedness okay it's, it's tired of it man it's it's already reached up to the heavens all right, and this place needs to go. All right, so whatever wickedness they got planned for us, they just need to just come on with it, man. All right, so the show can get on the road. It says uh, in Romans eight and thirty five, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Mashiach. All right, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Okay. Not, not, not the men that's in the spirit. Okay, they're not gonna be shipping. When you read Isaiah thirty-three and six, it says, "Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times," and that's what you are uh, about to see. Okay, this is uh those men that stood so stiffly for the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Those men are going to appear. Okay. And be more uh, uh, visible to those that are seeking the light in, in this darkness. Okay. 
It says, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Okay? And that's the people of our own nation. Okay? The nation of Israel. Not your, not your oppressor. Okay? Eat them. Okay? It's strictly for the 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 loved ones of the hopeful elect, the nation of Israel. All right. It says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all men of evil against you falsely for my sake. So Esau is giving us the juice. All right. Basically. Because when he uh, lays hand on us, then Michael, the, the arch, the archangel will get involved okay and when he gets involved then here come the the hosts of yahweh ba'ashem yahweh shai man all right the army of yahweh ba'ashem yahweh shai to intervene okay this is uh mark 10 and 29 to 30 and it says and how shall I answer and said verily I say unto you there is no man that hath left house or brother brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake in the gospels okay but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time Houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions. And in the world to come, eternal life. All right? So that's what we to, uh, that's what we to expect. All right? Coming forward, coming up. So take everything, you know, uh, uh, on the chin, man. You know what I'm saying? You do the work and you'll be fine. Do the work and you'll be fine with your faith, man. Okay? Because as long as you're doing the work, you're building your spirit up to be in charge. All right? And charged up to handle whatever adversities come your way, man. And you got to think, when your house shop is getting scourged and, and and spat on and hit, and then he had to cro carry that cross, all right? This is what he had in his mind, man. He had in his mind, my people are finally going to be free. In the end of all wickedness. In the day of my return. But I have to get this part done first. And that's what it is. He just went for it. Okay. And upon doing so. You know he became the sacrifice of Israel. And the propitiation for us man. Okay. But going back. It's a, it's a blessed thing. To get ready to go through. What we're about to go through. <laughs> all right. So count it all joy. Like the scriptures say, man. Let's get that real quick and then I'm close it out. This is James 1 and 1. It says, James, a servant of Yahweh Shai, and of the Lord Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, 
to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting my brother and count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Okay. So when these when these things start happening, just know that therefore uh uh a stepping stone to the kingdom of heaven for the hope for the elect. Man. That's the only thing you have to have in your mind. Let's let's read on. Uh, verse 2, my brother, and count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the, the trying of your faith works patience, okay? But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, in, entire wanting nothing, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, that give it to all men, liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Okay? So you have to stay grounded and rooted in order to, to, to get salvation, man. During, especially during the time of Jacob's trouble. All right? But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. All right. Like double-minded minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice that he is exalted. All right. That's going into something else, but I'm going to stop at seven. All right. For let that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord, okay? And that's the mind state that you got to be in, man. When you out here being persecuted and chased down and whatever the case may be, just know that you are going to receive salvation if you ask for redemption, man. And you ask for repentance you know you repented and then you 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 did the work you have faith and ask the lord to redeem you from out of whatever trouble uh gets in your way man and that's that's the bottom line it's that easy okay because uh the elder apostles man they've been uh, laboring in this thing for a long time, man. All right, but through through that persistency, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, perfect. They were perfect examples of what to do and how to walk and how to uh, uh, deliver yourself. Okay, with the hands of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. These teachers of ours, they deserve double honors because the Spirit of the Lord, okay, guided them to be those men, okay? So, with that, I want to say all praises due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for this truth, for this understanding, and what's to come, man, okay? Spirit of prophecy. And this is the treasure. This is the treasure of the Most High. No matter how you look at it. All right. You have all the tools. You know, it, it's, it's not about weaponry. It's all about spiritual uh, uh, know-how at this point. Even at the point of them coming out with the uh, mandatory vaccination. Okay. So, Shalom, Abad Babal, and Kwam Yasharala.